Angel alert! SunWest is continuing to slash turn times. Just weeks after announcing the one hour condition review time, SunWest is reviewing over 70% of conditions in under 40 minutes. From wherever you're at, drop your conditions into Morgan and don't miss a minute. At SunWest, we're continuously innovating because we believe your true home is always with it. Welcome to The Interest, I'm Sarah Wolak. Business may be hard to stir up right now, but have you tried saying yes more often as a way to connect with your staff and your customers? We'll have more on that coming up. But first, more and more employees are fighting back over compensation, or at least in their view, a lack thereof. This time, it's former employee from Cross Country who says the company failed to pay a minimum wage or overtime. In a federal lawsuit in New Jersey, the employee says loan salespeople were paid only on commission. So if they had no sales, they got no pay. And he says this violates both New Jersey law and the Federal Labor Standards Act. The lawsuit also claims loan salespeople are wrongly classified so that they don't qualify for overtime, despite working more than 40 hours. Cross Country did not respond to our request for comment. The former employee also says the company's sign-on bonus violates the act. The employee signed a $135,000 bonus back in April of last year, but left well before the required two years of employment. The company is now suing him for $83,000, saying that's the unpaid balance of the loan. Companies must also agree to a lien against any wages, bonuses, and other compensation owed to them to help repay the bonus. In addition, the lawsuit says Cross Country uses the sign-on bonus to get employees to sign away their rights to minimum pay. This continues a trend of employees going on the offensive to, co to collect wages and benefits. Just last month, former employees with Rocket filed a lawsuit in Arizona over claims of unpaid overtime. Back in December, a panel of judges ruled PNC Bank violated California law by docking some originators' pay if they didn't reach certain sales goals. Because the originators were also told not to clock up for rest periods, that violated California law. And back in June, United Wholesale Mortgage agreed to a $2.75 million settlement with employees accusing the company failing to pay overtime. Coming up, business is tough right now, but we'll see if you can get your team and even your customers to buy in. Morgan of SunWest Mortgage is here to change the world of loan originations forever. From sending updates to your clients to allowing you more time, you can do it all in a simple chat. You no longer have to struggle with documents. All you need to do is select the files and upload them and they're submitted in an instant along with your loan file. With SunWest, your true home is always within. Listen, the mortgage business is in bad shape. Like, I don't, you know, you don't need me to tell anybody. Everyone knows the shape of the current market. And what your office wants are leaders who are going to show them how to turn things around. The people who go out there and say, what can I change? What can I do? How can I adapt? are the people who succeed. So how do you do that? Should you copy the athletes and business leaders who take a win at all cost? Creative Mindset CEO Nir Bashan says no. For starters, even those success stories probably aren't what they seem. And I think that we can't just pick out the isolated incidents of, you know, looking at something in a negative way in order to get positive results. Instead, you can rally your team by showing them now is the time to dust ourselves off and find a new way. And it starts by being open to ideas, even when they seem unlikely. But I don't think we're in the type of economy or the environment where somebody, especially in the mortgage business, can say no right now. It is, yes, I'll try, yes. Bashan says customers and employees are more likely to respond to people who can help them. Don't just tell them you're the expert. Show them how you can use that to guide them to their goals. Nobody cares. Nobody cares how much experience you have. Nobody cares where you went to school. Nobody cares about any of that. You can read more of Bashan's advice in Mortgage Banker Magazine, available now at MortgageBankerMag.com. For the Mortgage News Network, I'm Katie Jensen. Thanks, Katie. And while you're there, you can also get some great advice on how to win over support and even funding for your business ideas. According to the Georgia Institute of Technology, entrepreneurs who show off expertise in their pitches are more successful than those who rely on energy. Researchers at the school's Scheller School of Business conducted a study with crowdfunding platforms. 
they found investors were less likely to trust entrepreneurs who display passion or enthusiasm. Instead, investors can sometimes think you're trying to manipulate them if you pour it on too thick. But that doesn't mean you should come out flat when you're making a pitch. Researchers say you should start by showcasing your knowledge and show your energy by finishing products and continuing to learn about your field. You can read more about the study at MortgageBankerMag.com. We'll be right back with what else is interesting today. Loan originators at SunWest are free from origination details and stress. You too can be limitless and have it all. We don't have a pyramid of layers and all of the commission is yours. All I want to do is make you money. Welcome back. Here's what else is interesting today. Older adults tend to have more resources and better credit, so that should make them more attractive borrowers. Well, researchers at Boston College found these borrowers are actually more likely to be rejected. The researchers note lenders can consider the age of a potential borrower in some situations, so this doesn't necessarily violate federal law. But they found older borrowers face higher rejection rates, even when you account for the other factors and the researchers called the results robust. For more on these and all of today's top stories, go to mortgagenewsnetwork.com.